Am I the butthole for telling my aunt I have sex? I, 28 male, have autism spectrum disorder. I am semi-verbal and sometimes use British Sign Language, sign-supported English or a computer device to communicate when I struggle to vocalize, which is not all the time. I have a job and live independently. I know my movements, my voice and intonation are strange and I stim when I am upset or happy. I struggle to read people, I don't make eye contact and I often don't express myself correctly. I am lucky to be surrounded by understanding people for the most part especially my girlfriend, 29 female, who I have been in a relationship with for 10 years now and I am planning on asking her to marry me shortly I am very excited because I think she will say yes and then she will be my wife and we can be married together. During lockdown, my family and I, girlfriend included, have been keeping in touch via Zoom meetings. I have a younger cousin, 25 male, who is also autistic and cannot live independently. My aunt is his primary caretaker and last week she was talking about a support group she has been attending for parents of autistic children. She was saying how she is like the mom of the group because she has the most experience. She said that she also talks about me in the group, how I use my hands and computer to talk, how my little job lets me help out with the numbers because I like math and how sweet my girlfriend is for caring for me. My girlfriend corrected her, saying she doesn't care for me in that sense and I was confused because I work in the finance department of a company. I calculate and organize the numbers. And I do talk sometimes. My aunt rolled her eyes and said she knows I try to be independent but I do need help and after talking some more it turned out that my aunt believed my girlfriend was not my girlfriend, but my live-in carer, my girlfriend is NT, and that everyone humored me because I had a crush on her. She became quite upset upon finding out that this was not the case and believes our relationship is inappropriate because I am practically a child. I shouted that I am not a child I am a grown man with a degree and a job and a girlfriend who I love and have sex with because I am an adult and she started saying that I should shut up and stop being vulgar but I was upset and I told her that my girlfriend and I have an adult relationship where we have sex frequently and often and I thoroughly enjoy having sex because I am a grown man with a sex drive and at this point I left the call. My girlfriend tells me that my anger was justified because my aunt was infantilizing me but maybe I should have left out the sexual details. My parents say I should apologize. My grandpa thinks the whole thing is very funny. I am very confused because everyone says such different things. Am I the butthole? TLDR my aunt thinks that I am like a child because I have ASD and says my relationship with my NT girlfriend is inappropriate so I told her we have sex. Not the butthole whilst I do think that telling her about your sex life is a bit inappropriate, given the circumstances I can see why you snapped and said it and it certainly got the point across. Your aunt was massively insulting you, your life, your girlfriend, your relationship, everything, suggesting you're not capable of having the life you lead. I think anyone would want to try and get the point across in that situation. Hopping on your top comment to add that the aunt has no right whatsoever to be discussing Op's life in her group. As best as I understand it, ASD is classified as a medical diagnosis. Since original poster is both an adult and not the aunt's child, she has no right to be discussing the details of Op's medical history or living arrangements with these strangers. Someone needs to correct her on that. Also, NTA, Op. Not even a little bit. Some problems could arise from what else has she told, in how much detail, and it also seems from the post that she never asked to share this info, probably because she doesn't respect original poster to be intelligent enough to form their own preferences. For these reasons it's not just no right, but it's an infringement on privacy and personal autonomy of OP. Looking at the way she thinks of OP, I feel sorry for her own child. She's probably infantilizing him too and being a total control freak about his life regardless of how capable he is of living it. Might be that she's intentionally sabotaging him and his future chances at happiness out of conviction that he is completely incapable of doing anything normal people do. Of course I don't know where on the spectrum he is but this just gives me creepy vibes. She's like those people who think autism isn't real, but on the opposite side of the scale. ETA, thanks for the awards kind strangers. Exactly, it sounds like she's projecting her son into op. She may still see her own son as a kid and probably not allowing said kid to be as independent as they may be able to. It's definitely possible that she feels some frustration, Original poster is able to live independently he her own child is not able to do so, so is taking it to the other extreme of infantilizing him. Your NTA, op. 
or worse, her child is capable, or potentially capable, of living independently, and she has refused to let him develop skills which would let him do so. Setting him up for a possibly less fulfilling life than he could have otherwise had, no to mention increasing the trauma when she's no longer able to care for him. Less fulfilling if he desires a more independent life, and suffers psychologically over not being given the opportunity, not just because of the living arrangement. I used to work as a job coach with adults with disabilities. Parents infantilizing their children and standing in the way of their intellectual, emotional, and social development happens all the time. It's awful. I have two autistic kids and so I've met with a lot of other parents and the amount of them that really infantilize their children is crazy. I think a lot of them have this whole autism mum, vomit, thing going on and that's their whole identity. And it probably has been for so long that they don't know what to do if their kid gets any kind of independence. My husband and I agreed very early on that we would never be like that. We probably push our boys a little more than our other kids to try bring them up to a level playing field. I want them to have the best chance at living a fulfilling life. These ones that deny their kids struggles, or the ones that go to the other extreme and make it the only thing about their kids, it's not fair. My mom doesn't think autism exists unless it's non-verbal so I had zero help. Thank you for pushing your boys and being good parents. Yep. Even children who really could easily be independent. I have a TBI, ADHD, some other learning disabilities, and a couple of moderate physical disabilities, and have definitely struggled to function independently exactly like my peers. But functioning differently does not equal incapable of functioning independently. And yet my parents spent most of my childhood preparing me to never be independent, and shamed and infantilized me any time I tried to be. Yup, these types of parents are horrid and frequently criticized by actually disabled people. There's parents like this for all disabilities but autism moms are by far the most prevalent and worst. They just make being a parent of an autistic kid their whole personality, and they can be so self-centered and cruel about disabilities. They often center themselves, and not actually disabled people, in conversations about disabilities, and tend to emphasize how burdensome their children are and how much of a saint they are for taking care of them, which, not doubting being a caretaker is hard, but saying your kid is a burden is not okay, and it just leads to further infantilization and marginalization of disabled people. And yes, it can often lead to these parents sheltering and infantilizing their kids so much that they never get a chance to grow. But, I think it's also important to add that it's entirely possible that Op's cousin does need a significant level of help, and that would be totally okay. It's possible they would struggle with communication, self-care, etc. even without an overbearing crafty mother, but even if their disability is more severe they also deserve to have a caretaker who treats them with respect and like they're an actual human being, and not like an effing pet. Having been a foster child on the spectrum as well as having been legally adopted by my probably bipolar grandmother, I'm all too used to the idea that an autistic person is often treated like a perpetual child, never allowed to grow up. In the foster care system this is compounded. A person who was treated as a young child right up until the day they reached majority and then thrown to the wolves is going to have a hell of a time fending. I agree 100% that the cousin might need more help than op. But it also seems to me that whatever help he needs, his mother is exaggerating it by 250% and adding some extra on top. She's just this kind of autistism mom type, had no idea there was a term for it, learned something new today. Let's just hope the appalling aunt doesn't try to interfere further and try to claim original poster is being abused by his carer and involve the authorities. She's so oblivious to the reality of Op's independent adult life and relationship that she may believe that kind of crap. To be honest, it sounds like that aunt has a bit of a savior syndrome. She seemed to relish as being seen as the good kind-hearted person who takes care so well of her autistic son and autistic nephew. She cannot see original poster as a grown-up individual because in her mind autistic people need a savior like her to manage their life. Up, definitely NTA. I would stop going on about the sex because it wasn't necessary to tell her that you are thoroughly enjoying it, but I think it's good you put her in her place. You are your own person, have accomplished a lot in life and she needs to recognize that. I'm glad your girlfriend also stood up for you. Sounds like she's a keeper. She is. Her sister is helping me prepare for the proposal and I am very excited. I don't like surprises so I asked her if she wanted to marry me one day and she said yes but her sister said it would be nice to propose properly so I am going to do that soon. NTA, 
and your grandpa sounds like he's on your side, and fun. Op's grandpa sounds like the best one in the family. The only one to truly appreciate original poster putting his aunt in her place. Op should put everyone in timeout, except grandpa. If they see nothing wrong with infantizing a grown man, degrading his accomplishments and serious long-term relationship they can all be mad in the corner together. I fully support this idea. Yeah. I was definitely on grandpa's side as long as his humor didn't upset up. Grandpa has seen his kids each raise an ASD child and he definitely knows the aunt is being in butthole. I'm also seeing lots of people say they understand who original poster mentioned sex, but that they wouldn't because it's inappropriate. I disagree because I think it was genuinely necessary in this situation. Aunt basically accused the girlfriend of being a sexual predator. While in most relationships sharing too much about your sex life is inappropriate, Aunt crossed a line and original poster had every right to explain he actively and positively consents to sex within his relationship. It's not like original poster was sharing this in casual conversation. And grandpa probably thinks it's funny because Aunt stepped in it and got what she deserved. Up. You're not the butthole and good luck on your proposal. I agree. If the original poster was actually describing his sex life with graphic details, then yeah, that would be inappropriate. However, I don't think original poster was doing that. From what I can gather, I think he just asserted multiple times that he consents to and engages in sex, to make a point that he is not a child. I think it's because Aunt doesn't want to think about her autistic son as a sexual being. It's more comfortable for her to think his autism neuters him. Op is NTA, but Grandpa absolutely deserves a Best Person Award. Nothing to add, beyond, good luck, fella. Not the butthole. I love that Yusul is helping you give your girlfriend a proposal and you still got your answer so it isn't a surprise. It never really should be anyway, because marriage is a big talk anyway, best of luck with your future family. And you are so NTA. Your aunt on the other hand. She deserved way more than you threw at her. Stick with your grandfather's reaction. It is funny because you turned her whole little world on its head and messed with her whole perception of you. Let her deal with that. I've heard it said many times, a proposal should be a surprise, but an engagement shouldn't. Being aware of your partner's feelings about marriage and specifically marriage with you before proposing is very cool actually and more people should talk about it before they pop the question actually. I do agree. My now husband and I talked about marriage and our future many times before we became engaged. He even showed me the ring before he proposed, to make sure I liked it. But he wanted to propose, so the when and how was a surprise for me. The answer was not a surprise to either of us, smiley face. You sound fantastic, I hope you and your girlfriend are very happy together. Congratulations. That's awesome. I hope you and your girlfriend are super happy together, and your grandpa is great too for his response. Aw oh, you've got a good sister-in-law too. I'm always really glad to see people who accept each other as they are but also stretch to do nice things for their so. Good luck. I hope your proposal is great. You did it right. It's best to make sure both people are on the same page before popping the question in a big proposal. This is awesome. You sound like a great guy. Just make sure your girlfriend isn't too embarrassed by you bringing up your sex life, I might be if my boyfriend brought it up to his family. But you're not the butthole for anything else and your aunt needs to shut up. Good luck on the proposal. I'm sure your girlfriend will be thrilled. Thank you everyone for your thoughts and rewards. A few people have said it might have been inappropriate for me to mention my sex life with my girlfriend. I brought that up specifically because my aunt insinuated my girlfriend was some sort of predator for pursuing an adult relationship with me and that made me angry. I asked my girlfriend if she was mad at me and she said no but I should avoid bringing it up in the future. I have made a note of this. Many of you are praising my grandpa. I like this. My grandpa is my favorite family member. We think he also may be autistic but he comes from a generation where neurodiversity was not well understood or noticed like nowadays. Ironically my uncle, aunt's husband, is well aware of the nature of my relationship with my girlfriend, as he is the one who gifted me my first pack of condoms at age 20 when I felt ready to become sexually active. I think overdoing it on the sex talk is hilarious. Your aunt asked for it by calling you a child and implying your girlfriend is predatory. 
Bet she won't do that again. I support you really throwing your sex life at her. There is no way she can cling to her condescending delusions about your life now. Also, good luck with your proposal. Update us when you pop the question. Also NTA. Seriously. Go all in. Auntie, last night we girlfriend gave me a blow job and then she got on all fours and I took her from behind. She came twice. Up, I'm kidding. Don't do this. Yeah just to be very clear, op do not actually do this. I'm only stating this because a lot of the autistic people in my life struggle with understanding what is a joke and what is a serious recommendation, especially over tech so I just wanted to make sure it was clear. Emphasizing all the sexual aspects made her uncomfortable and she a hold be uncomfortable. She should not be assuming anything about your life based on her experience with her son, that's her mistake. She styled herself as an expert and you made it very obvious that she wasn't in a really awesome way. She clearly doesn't really truly understand neurodiversity and doesn't want to because of how it makes her feel, you just found the most obvious reason and made it abundantly clear. Good for you. I'm with you and your grandfather on this one all the way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, Please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.